Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Leo for the month of January 2022. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or it may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Also, although I'm reading for January, you could be feeling these energies whenever you view this video. Now, um, a lot of cards have fallen and um, I could have a couple of different scenarios for different groups, okay, going on here. It has to do with that devil and that lover's card. Um, and so I feel for one group of you, this could be very well the forbidden fruit, um, a third party, a lover, or for another group, this could be somebody's uh, fears that trick them into believing it's forbidden, that they don't deserve it, okay? And this could be a pattern for that person. So, at the heart of this reading is where we'll begin. We have this separation that happened of a sudden. This is this is Uranus ruling this card in it's Uranus and Venus, um, and so and Aquarius also I see uh, Libra. Okay, so somebody thought, <clears throat> excuse me, that um, something was not right, out of balance, and um, they didn't really think about it, okay, or they imagined the worst, but they took a very quick decision. This is something that happened real quick, this card, okay? So this was an ending. Somebody got upset, real angry with the warrior here. There was a sudden confrontation or a sudden something suddenly uh, spoken or sudden action was taken. Somebody's shield, boom, went up just like that. You see the, uh, you see that it's really intense energy on this card. Ten of Swords. So clearly, while well, we already know that by the first two cards, that this ended badly, that there, there, there was a series perhaps of disappointments for someone. Somebody may have felt stabbed in the back or that they were going to be stabbed in the back by someone. It could be that this was somebody trying to bring something back from the brink of death but they may have overlooked something they may not because this card says to uh says that it's not over that you can save it that you have to look to the past to the uh to the lessons in the past possibly because I'm, I'm hearing, and with the devil here, something that repeated in the past. There's something in there that contains information that this person needs. Yeah, look at that, eh? A very strong connection is, is here, okay? between you and this person and it is still here you might not be uh, together but uh, emotionally you are something ended badly somebody got really upset and they withdrew they may not have uh, they may not have uh, applied wisdom from the past. That's it. It's why it ended badly. 
or why that this occurred. So they withdrew. And maybe uh, they withdrew. Oh, yeah. They withdrew and maybe became very uh, antisocial, stop talking. But you know what? <laughs> On all of this, the last card was the Empress. And what's that tell me? That there's still potential here to heal this. There's still potential for this relationship to see long-term growth. But there's wisdom um, that is needed for that to happen. And you know where to find it? It's behind you. If this is not you, then this is them. Somebody was stirred on by their fears. Mm, they were suspicious. They tried, they really tried to keep their emotions under control. But I guess it, it blew because we saw that uh, up here. Look, Jesus, look at this. <laughs> you got to look at them together. You really do. This one was at the heart of the reading. Okay, here's the connection. And this is what was supposed to happen. Making up, coming together. Look at that, side by side. All right. But what, ha actually I'm going to keep them here because what happened was because of somebody's suspicions, whoops, <laughs> somebody's suspicions, somebody's, fears in the uh, Eight of Swords there. It made them very emotional in this king. And if you look behind his chair, you see the netting and all the tools, right? He became very emotional because he thought somebody was setting up a trap. But actually, actually, he was trapping himself. I feel, with these fears or the fears, letting the fears keep him trapped. So what did he do? He took the offer and he dumped it. He turned it down. That's what he did. But it wasn't planned. It wasn't what was supposed to happen. And what we know is that there's still potential here. So, but this person needs to see something and it's behind him. So in reflection, and that's where he went after, he's thinking about this and uh, re-evaluating, um, Reevaluating, reevaluating the ending, or, or the the reasons that led up to it, or why it happened, or somebody's deception. It could have been somebody's deception because I have it up here with the master. Here they are. Look, it's almost the same thing that's going on here. That's happening here. Yeah. See, they. Uh, the ailing king, they took a fall. They were burdened by something. Um, now they're here uh, trying to heal. The table's full of medicine. They they don't see. Um, it's raining. The candle light is out. So they something went out. And it's causing this person a lot of grief. They have a book here, but it's closed. I feel like their answer is within. <clears throat> um, so a book got closed or a chapter was closed um, Uranus again out of the blue felt like a fool and uh, that's this energy here okay and then went into reflection so they did something out of the blue they may be feeling a little bit like a fool in the aftermath of all of this that maybe 
there could be a reassessment, you see, with the master on, on, uh, on the false halo, which is, you know, thinking somebody was deceiving them or setting them up, um, pretending, okay, with the, uh, with the false halo. Somebody, maybe they thought somebody was pretending interest or pretending uh, to have feelings for them when they actually didn't. But, you know, this comes from the devil energy, low self-worth, low self-value. They, they, they didn't, maybe, maybe they didn't believe they were worthy of somebody's love and at a subconscious level, okay? Again, they have to go back to the past to find out why they, they would think like that because it's an experience that they've had. So, <clears throat> because they seem to be very suspicious and it seems to be a pattern with them. The forbidden fruit tells me the same thing, possibly. Um, feeling like it's forbidden, you know. Um, the master. So the master is very pessimistic, resentful, uh, suspicious, again. He's alone, so he's withdrawn. He's in that energy. And maybe he's trying to desperately come up with an idea or a way to, to come out of this energy. He could feel like he's running out of time. He's been searching and searching and searching. There's a lot of books. Maybe he does come up with an idea because he's got his finger pointed here on something, a passage in the book. Maybe, yeah, and, a, and, and it's almost like he gets enlightenment. So maybe by uh, going through these passages or experiences in the past that are contained within the book, the book, you see the book, he finds the solution. You see, oh yeah, look at that. I didn't realize that, but look, soon you will have the answers you seek. You are them and it's in the book. They already have it. All right. They just haven't seen it yet. So we see that um, there was an ending. And we see that, uh, oh, they were upset. Just like here. They brought about this ending. Um, Knight of Swords. They did... Real quick, this is a real quick move. Uh, and it's a strike that if it's happening to you, you don't see it coming. And maybe even for this person, they didn't see it coming because they were trying to control their emotions or keep their emotions under control. Maybe they, it, it just got the better of them. This is somebody who's hot-headed. They got maybe one thing on their mind you know, and, and I, I mean, that could be, you know, get the truth or get back at them. They could be, uh, or could have been, it could have been like that. And how am I going to get back at them? I'm going to, I'm going to walk away. I'm going to end it. Yep, and there was thus this destruction I see in the death card. There is a surprise twist to this story because the same night, and you see him here, where he's very angry, he brings in this ending and then we have at the bottom of the deck, we have him coming to give enlightenment. If you've been, <clears throat> if you've been, 
if you've been trapped, well, <laughs> and and they most certainly have been trapped in the Eight of Swords energy here. Oh, yeah, look at that. There they are, feeling trapped in the Eight of Swords energy. Well, they are about to get the enlightenment that they need or the answers they need. I feel also that this person could be coming to give you answers. Whatever this is, whichever way this goes, and it could go both ways, right? Um, this comes as a surprise. So it's unexpected. This is unexpected news that comes. Yeah, this is unexpected news that is coming quite out of the blue it's um can be uh with the tower um like that uh a awakening it can be uh some type of dramatic transformation or twist whatever it is because you have the tower appearing here twice i must tell you this is unavoidable. This is going to happen. Let me see. The tower falls on the eight of swords. So the in it, it is here and it is on this person. So they're about to get some type of enlightenment. They were feeling trapped in this energy. They're finally going to see something. It's like, yeah, you see, because see how his finger goes up in the air there? It's like a solution. It's like that awakening moment. And you see, soon you will have the answers you seek. So it's all adding up here. Yeah, in the period of reflection for this person is when it happens. That's where the tower falls again. While they're reflecting, they're going to see something. There's some type of awakening in this reflect. Yeah, look, Four of Swords again. In this period, it's where they find the answer. And it's going to happen. It's like, it's like they're just suddenly going to see. And this is what is going to bring the change and the transformation that is needed to make a decision, something that they were unable to see before, they, they now are going to see. You see, this isn't over yet. It's not over yet. It's just something that this person needed to see to find the way out or the way through whatever was eating at them or tricking them into believing things that weren't really there or weren't real, you know? That's what the devil does, you know? Creates these little fears that lie to you and keep you <laughs> in prison. Wow. The future's looking good. So what we have here, look at this, page of cups, page of cups. This person uh, is not ready to give up on this relationship with that nine of wands uh, there uh, beneath them. So uh, we have the page of cups twice here and sandwiched in between uh, these two pages because they're both on the outer edges. So this you're talking about... Um, you're talking about an apology, professions of love, okay? Somebody, this is something that is yet to come. It has not yet happened. It is something that is greatly desired. It's something that is not yet seen uh, or not yet talked about, okay? It's coming. It's hidden from you. You cannot see it. It is the Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups. Uh, you cannot see it. It's covered by the moon. This night brings in... you got to see this. you just got to see this. 
I mean, it's just unbelievable. <laughs> he's bringing in, he's bringing in the Ace of Cups. What a love story. What a love reading. This is beautiful. Romance, the potential for new love or the renewal of it. Offers of love, friendship. Um, uh, it's possible that you were friends who became lovers. This is somebody, if you look at this, somebody is about to place their heart in your hands, something that they were <laughs> deathly afraid of doing in the past. Or this is vice versa. But you definitely have an offer that you can't see coming. Yeah. Something that has a lot of potential that currently you may not be talking to this person. All right. So the messages I have. It's possible for someone here that somebody may have been telling this other person um, <clears throat> uh, the, the, like not to be together with you or not to get together with you or there was somebody that around them that was against this union. That's possible. But they say, uh, don't stress about it. Don't stress about who doesn't want you together. You've been the only person who's made them feel like, you know, um, that they want to be a better person is what this card says. So that'll mean something to someone. When they're not around you, they get sad. Mm -hmm. But uh, you see, look at this. This person feels like, I feel like, they feel like they're not good enough. But you see, Spirit is saying, <clears throat> you see, you've been the only person who's who's made me want to be a better man. But why would they feel like they're they're not? I mean, I, I mean, it could be for somebody that they did some things that they regret and they want to, you know, um, change this. But this card is saying, like, um, right now, exactly who you are is good enough. So let it be good enough for you. Believe in yourself. Somebody does not believe in themselves. That's a message for someone. You can't, uh, you can't be bitter and expect your love life to be sweet, they're saying. So stay positive. It's okay to forgive, you know. It won't change the past, but it will change the future. Learn, heal, and grow. So, forgiveness. And, you know, this could be forgiving someone or even forgiving the self. It won't change what happened. It won't change the past. But it will change the future. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.